know I have my tea. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lexi Arthur. If you want to keep up with me, you can follow me on Instagram at Lexi Arthur. So this morning, we are going to be doing my skincare routine. So I am going to finish up my tea first, but going to start off with a facial. So I love this facial steamer. My mom bought it for me and it is by um, Vanity Planet. And I think it's called like the Aria or the Aura, something like that. Um, and I like to do this once a week. So I'm just going to put like my distilled water in there and I'll do that right now. So you, guys so can you see. just pull this right out of there. This is where the water goes. And yes, I'm extra. I have a whole freaking gallon of distilled water. So there's two lines. There's a minimum and the maximum. I always do the minimum because the minimum is about, whoops, 15 minutes. Um, and I just feel like that is plenty of time. Anything more than that, you just feel like you're cooking your face and you're there forever. So I'm not trying to do that. I 10 and 10 recommend this. I love it. So I just plugged it in and this light starts blinking and then you just tap it. It's like touch, you tap it and then it'll start. And this little thing you can move. So you can move down, like if you're sitting down, you can move it up. I normally just do it on my counter and kind of like bend down. I haven't done anything to my face. I'm gonna start off by steaming it and then I'm gonna go in with some facials. So I'll show you, actually I'll show you. The two facials I love to go in with right after steaming my face is this um, Ola Henriksen Hydra Clay Detox Mask. I've been using it, I've used it like four or five times already and it's pretty good, I like it so far. And then the other one I'm obsessed with, this is Freeman Cleansing Clay Mask. This one is so, so good and I typically just put this like around my nose area where I need like smaller pores ready to go. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you can see, I'm almost steamed up. I'll just typically like let it dry or just pat it dry with a towel. Um, and then I go in with the clay mask by Freeman. And I've actually bought this off Amazon too. I think I originally got it at Target. Um, and I've seen them at Ulta too. So you can also pick them up there if you want to go in stores. So I'm just going to kind of just leave my face a little moist like this. Um, just grab some and like I said, just put it over my nose area where I have bigger pores just because this is supposed to be pore minimizing. So then I'm going to go in with this Ola Henriksen one and like I said just put it everywhere almost around my face. ish minutes this isn't really skincare related but it is an important step um i go in with my nair uh face cream and i do this for my mustache so i like to do it once a week or once every two weeks just depending on how bad it is you know um but i always do it because you know you just have to and it's not cute having a little peach fuzz or mustache so okay and i also just wanted to add in that i do have a lot of sunspots um on my nose and around my like um upper like cheek area and that is because i didn't ever use sunscreen and now i learned the importance of sunscreen so i cannot go a day without putting it on and i'll show you guys the one that works for me because i'm actually allergic to i don't know this specific ingredient in sunscreen but even like or sunblock like body um sunblock and sunscreen like i break out in little bumps and like not hives well i guess maybe they are hives um but they're not really red they're just like under the skin and i use like a neutrogena um sunscreen for my face and same thing happened so i was like super traumatized but i did find like an all natural one that works for me and it works wonders but i had to learn the hard way because i do have a lot of um sun damage it's like kind of minor but it's still like you know little spots i thought i had freckles until i learned oh my gosh there's sun damage but it's because i would work out in the sun during summertime be out there um and not have anything protecting my face so i didn't realize that it was really damaging my face so just a disclaimer if you see that i i do you know suffer from that i'm trying to minimize them but you know we're all human we all have it we all have 
blemishes. No one has super perfect skin, but we can all work towards it. Also, another thing, some skin types are, you know, genetics. Like, it's just genetics and that's we just have to deal with it as it comes because I know that everyone's skin type is so different but um you know as far as me and my family we typically have clear skin and I don't know if it's because my mom stressed me and my sisters at a super young age the importance of taking care of your skin so we've all been using face wash and moisturizers and stuff like that ever since Honestly, I was like 10 years old, so I don't know if it's that, but also my mom does have good skin and so does my dad. So, you know, I think it's just genetics as well. Just like um, some people do suffer from, you know, severe acne and that can be genetic, but there's always a method to minimize all of that. And I, I'm a strong believer because even my skin is not perfect. Although for the most part, it is clear, it's not perfect and I try to... I don't want to say like perfect it, but I try to make it the best it can be, you know, the best of my ability and the best product. So I just want to share with you what I do and what I use. Okay, so you can tell I took the facial off or the mask and my skin feels amazing. So now I'm going to get my trusty nair and then put a thick layer that's what it says don't smear it in. so i put a thick layer because it says don't rub it in just put a thick layer on i'm gonna leave this on for five minutes then dab it off with a warm like cloth or even like a napkin and then just wash off the area and then i'll put my face wash on and get moisturized to start my glam for today and we're good to go I know it looks like red in this area that's just because like I'm really rough and I was like now we do our face wash so I use this Johnson & Johnson um clean and clear deep action this one is oil free and they also have one that is sensitive skin because this is um very minty it feels so good on your skin but if you have sensitive skin they have one as well that I've used um it's not as minty obviously but it is still good. I'm going to leave this on for like uh, five minutes or so, five to ten. Just let it set. It's like tingling already and so minty. It feels so good. Once we wash that off, I am going to go ahead and grab my Olay face lotion. This is my holy grail. So I'm going to go ahead and just dab it. Right on, um, like a generous amount. Whoops, I'm a mess. Then for my sunscreen, I use the Monet Sunbill sunscreen. This is for your face. Um, it is SPF 30, and I'm telling you, my face would be a hot ass mess without this because, like I told you guys, how I've experienced sun damage before. Whoops. With this sun lately, just on every day. And when I put it on like this, sorry, you can't even hear me. I'm like, hey. um, but when I put it on like this, um, my makeup goes over it. So I just leave it under my makeup. So that way my skin is protected. I even bring it down my neck, rub that right out, and focus it around my nose area where I already have sun damage or sunspots so now we're fully hydrated ready to go put our makeup on and i will be back at nighttime i will be full glam and you guys will see how i get unready every single morning this doesn't change my olay lotion doesn't change and my sunscreen like those are my three go-to's in the morning time so i'll see you at night okay so it is nighttime now. Let's get unready. Let's take off our makeup. Um, sorry if I'm not being so loud and the TV's on in the background. Um, my husband's sleeping, so I'm gonna try not to be super loud. I recently did my research. I know this is not rocket science, but I did it on makeup wipes. So my holy grail was Neutrogena makeup wipes and I was obsessed with them, which are these bad boys um i did my research and i read up on them on 
how horrible they are for your skin because when you are rubbing that on and just so rough it kind of like breaks your skin and like the surface so I got these makeup cloths and they are so soft like um microfiber towels I think that's what it is um, and then I did my research on double cleansing. So I seen this video on the makeup wipes and they did it um, like on an orange. It was like a demonstration of what it does to your skin. So they put foundation on the orange and then removed it with a makeup wipe. And on the orange, it acts as like your pores on your face. So basically what the makeup wipes does, it just, just kind of like takes off what's on the surface but not under your skin. So it is so, so, so important to double cleanse um, and take off all the gunk off your face. So with that, I went to Target. I didn't even like do my research. I kind of just like Googled while I was at Target, like the reviews on these two cleansers. Let me just put this here. Um, so I got this one, which is a Pacifica uh, Vegan Cream Creamy Gel Cleanser right here. And this one I use first to take off my makeup, which acts as like the cleanser. And then I got this Neutrogena one, um, which is new and it's skin balance one. And this is a mattifying and conditioning clay cleanser. Hopefully you can see that, but this one is more of a clay, like thicker consistency, and this one foams up like um, soap. So I use this one as my first cleanser, and then this one as my double cleansing one, the second one. So what I start by doing, obviously I'm gonna take off my lashes. I love these lashes so much. I'm gonna wet the softer side that's like way, way softer. Now I do have to say with starting to like double cleanse, it does take me a lot longer to get my skincare going, but it's okay because it's better for your face. I'm gonna take the Pacifica cleanser and I'm just gonna do like, okay, the way I can describe this, it's like, like egg whites, like a, like an egg white consistency, like, like slimy and I don't know, you get it just like egg like that. That's perfect. Um, so I do like, oh, it's not even open. I don't know, I did like six pumps. So as you can see, it's just, that don't look right, but it's just like slimy. Rub that on there and then I just start. Okay, so I did half of my face, obviously. Um, and that was just with the one cleanser and you seen right when I started to do it, it came right off. So there's proof that it works so well. And with these makeup little towels, um, they're so easy because you just rinse them and you see all the makeup just come right out of them. So I kind of just rinse them, let them dry, and then I'll wash them. Let me get this side done. Okay, so as you can see, all of my makeup is off and that was just with that one cleanser so I do love it but what I do have to say about um, this one which is a Pacifica one is that it is very drying like it makes your face feel like super it's like squeaky clean but you know like it's like when you touch it it's like like squeaky like you know what I mean yeah I hope you understand what I'm trying to say so now I'm going to go in with the Neutrogena one and do like two pumps or even one probably was enough. But it looks like, like I told you, it's more like clay, like thicker, creamier consistency. Some water on it and then cleanse my whole face. Now we are done, obviously. Um, I'm going to dry my face and then just get all the water out of this. We're going to put this to dry, dry off my face really quick and I'll be right back. So once that is all done. I haven't done this before, but I'm super curious. So I'm gonna get one of my Neutrogena wipes and wipe my face and see how much makeup is still on my face, if any. Guys, I don't know if you can see really good, but there is like a little, little to no makeup on here. This is crazy. 
because like I said, I had a lot of makeup on. Clean and Clear, Deep Action, um, the one I showed you earlier. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face. Okay, so now that our face is clean and dry, now for the fun part. So I'm gonna start off with a cotton round and this Ola Henriksen um, Dark Spot Toner. So this is my holy grail, my go-to every single night. So I just put a bit on there and then I literally just rub it all over my face in a little circular motion. You can even see that gross dirt and I thought my face was all clean. Then I go in with this True Skin Serum, it's vitamin C. Um, you can get it off of Amazon and it was about $20, I believe. And I just love it so much. So it comes like this in a little dropper. So I literally just drop it, not letting the little dropper touch my skin because it has bacteria. With serums, I like to let it dry. This one's a lot more like um, watery more watery than thick so then i like to press it into the skin another thing i learned is that you always push up from your neck so you push up all the products or whatever you're putting on and i like to just stab it and then push up right here as well but the next thing is going to be the ola henriksen um truth banana bright eye cream so wear by this and it actually came in a three pack this truth serum and then and then um this sea rush brightening gel so i use these three i get them in a pack at sephora and i actually keep them in my little fridge um, for skincare so i keep them nice and cold so i go in with the eye cream this will help your dark circles as you can tell this lighting is absolutely horrible is not doing my skin any justice i'm just going to dab that in your ring finger is the finger that is the most gentle um another little fun fact so you want to just tap and i tap all around my eyelid as well and do the same thing until i feel like the product is all the way pushed in and then I'll go in with my middle finger and ring finger and then just kind of tap. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Truth Serum. And again, this has a little like pump. So I'm gonna do two pumps, not touching my face. And then I just grab it and then put smear it or even it, disperse it throughout my face. Mind you, these are all really cold because I kept them in my fridge, so it even feels 10 times better. So tip, if you do not do that, or if you don't even have a mini fridge, just put it in your normal fridge. Like, it'll work perfectly. Um, so now we're going to go in with the gel. About that much. And then I'm just going to smear it all in. So I have this little rose quartz roller um, and I'm just gonna roll my face. So I just sit here, not for long, but I love to do it right after the gel. And mind you, this was in my fridge as well. So it is really cold. It feels so, so good. With the little side, I go right under my eyes, roll out those bags. We've done that. I'm gonna grab my Jade Gua Sha and I'm gonna start right at my jawline and push up. My husband already complains that I take so long, which you can tell by this video. <laughs> the same thing that we used earlier oh my gosh this feels so good and so soft once that's done we are done last but not least 
moisturize our lips because that is super important. So once our skin is done, our lips are moisturized, I have already brushed my teeth, flossed, and I'm ready to hop into bed. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will be back soon with another video. Bye, guys.